President Biden today offering a solemn salute, paying his respects to American soldiers lost in U.S. wars in Iraq and Afghanistan at Arlington National Cemetery. Over the last nearly 20 years, more than 2,300 American troops have been killed in Afghanistan. The president's visit to Arlington coming after he announced from the White House that all remaining I'm troops in Afghanistan today, would be home Roosevelt. by the fall. We went to Afghanistan because of a horrific attack that happened 20 years ago. That cannot explain why we should remain there in 2021. More than 2,000 American troops are in Afghanistan right now. 18-year-olds serving what? in uniform born after the September 11th attacks. In the decades since the fighting began, more than 40,000 Afghan civilians have been killed. The cost of the conflict, $825 billion. The Biden administration arguing threats from the U.S. homeland have changed. The president saying the U.S. will keep providing humanitarian assistance and support peace talks between the government of Afghanistan and the Taliban, facilitated by the United Nations. We cannot continue the cycle of extending or expanding our military presence in Afghanistan, hoping to create ideal conditions for the withdrawal and expecting a different result. Still, some Republicans pushing back, saying the withdrawal of U.S. troops is a win for the Taliban. We know that this kind of a pullback is reckless, it's dangerous, uh, it puts American security at risk. Admiral William McRaven, who led the team that killed Osama bin Laden, addressing the families who lost loved ones during an event with The Washington Post. Regardless of how the war ends, their sacrifice has not been diminished one bit. President Biden said he spoke with former President Bush about the decision. We know he also spoke with the president of Afghanistan, who said in a statement today that he respects the decision and will work with the U.S. to try to ensure a smooth transition. Mary Alice Parks, ABC News, Washington.